or uh, even scribble on the screen like that. Clear? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I still have Ali Abu Khalil is joining us today. Time we read this paragraph. Good morning, Miss. Hi, Miss. How are? Good morning, you? teacher. Good morning, Layla. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome back, Ali Abdul. Good morning. We missed. I missed you. I missed you. <laughs> How's Angola? Fine. Is it the first time you go there? No. Okay, so you already know. The third, the third time. Uh, do you have a friend? Do you know someone over there? No. Yes. I go to Angola many times. Yes, uh, I know. I know. I know Muhammad Zalhud, but Ali Abu Khalil. I know only Muhammad Zalhud. Yeah, well, please tell us when you visit. I'll take pictures and send your pictures to us, okay? Send your, tell your mom to send the pictures to me so I can show them to your friends. Teacher, can I read? Yeah, one second time. Yes, Tia. Teacher, you told me before yesterday that I'm going to be the first time uh, to read this. We lesson. have a pool uh, and, uh, and the condominium. Okay, thank you. Yala, Miss, please, we need to start. Yes, Tia, thank you for reminding me. I was asking, but no one uh, uh, helped. So uh, we're going to continue with Tia. Last time we read this paragraph, and we know that the lesson is about Nora and Danny. And we also learned that Danny was crying because his father was... Now, just a quick uh, revision. Emigrated, this is the word emigrate. To emigrate is to travel to a new place and live there. Whispered is to speak softly or quietly. Whispered. Photographs are pictures. Photographs are pictures. Yalatia, I don't want to. I don't want to ever leave Ireland. Dan Danny said we, we won't have any friends in, in America will, will be far away from grand, Granda, Paddy, and Colleen. Colleen. So, uh, Colleen. so does Danny, does Danny want to leave uh, America? I mean, does he want... Um, Ireland to America? No. He doesn't want to leave uh, Ireland. He's happy there. Because what? He's going to miss his family, his granda, Paddy, and Colleen. Paddy and Colleen, maybe uh, they are his cousins. Uh, Hi, Miss. Cousins. Hi, Miss. Okay. Yes, continue. Continue. Yeah, one more, maybe. Maybe you'll be glad to listen. <laughs> one second, please. I'm going to mute everyone because apparently they cannot control their mics. Yell, unmute, Tia. Yeah. Maybe you'll be glad it isn't. Ireland, Nora said, there will be enough food to, to eat. Mama and dad can, can, can relax, relax and not worry too, so much. We'll all, all have a better life. America will be the land of our dreams. Yes. Then Daddy cried. Carrie. Uh, 
carried a, a bag into the, the room. So cheer up, my little love. Why? In no time at all, you'll you'll be jo jo joining me. Yes, thank you, Tia. So here, you're welcome. So uh, when Danny was crying, his sister was trying to make him feel better, right? She said that maybe you will we you will be glad. Uh, it isn't Ireland. Why? It, it, she means that maybe you will find happiness in America, okay, because they're going to have enough food to eat. What does this tell you about the family? Are they living in, in a good condition? Do they have money? No. No, this tells us that the, food, that the family is probably poor because they do not have enough food to eat, okay? And that their parents, they worry a lot about their... Uh, matters. Um, okay, so at that moment, their father came into into the room carrying a bag. Okay, because he's traveling, of course, he will have luggage. And he cheered, he said, cheer up. Why? Because he's going to uh, uh, send for them, they will be joining him soon. Okay, Tia, why did the family decide to go to America? This is on Mega Pack, page 32, if you want to find the answer. Do you know, why, do, why did the family decide to go to America? Why do they want to, to travel? Because in America, the life is better than yes. the Ireland. Excellent, bravo. Because they are looking... For better life in America, and this is what they heard. What made them believe that America has better life? If I tell you, for example, uh, Tia, uh, let's travel to uh, Dubai. B Dubai has better life. Would you would you believe me? Mm. Yes. Well, you would well, you would believe me probably because you trust me, or or you may believe someone who was already in Dubai. Their uncle went to America, and he found a job, and he's writing letters to them, telling them how wonderful the life is in America. That's why they believed him. They trust, they trust him. Okay, and that's why they decided they should all go and live in America. So here you can say the family decided yeah, yeah. to go yeah. to America because they were looking for a better life. As Tia said, okay, the family decided oh. to go to America because they were looking for a better life. This is the answer that you need to write. Moving on. Yes, after Tia. Yes, ma'am. Yalla. Mute, I mute you, Tia, no problem. Yalla, Yasma. One second. Yes, teacher. Yalla, can you continue reading a year later? Uh, okay. A year later, Dad had saved enough money to send for his family. Mama and da Mama, Danny and Nora packed what little they had. They got on a crowded steamship and began their vo voyage. Voyage. This is a French word. The Okay. The trip across the athletic athletic ocean Can I ask was you rough. First? So here did their did their father uh, keep his promise? Did he send for them? Yes. Yes, he did. How did they go to uh, how did they travel or how they were planning 
to go to America? By what? How they were planning. They were planning to save for their dad to uh, find a job and save money, and no. so they can, so he can send for them. Uh, no, sorry, my question may not have been clear. Uh, how how did they go to America? In what in what vehicle? In what uh, what device? What vehicle? Is it? Did they go by car? Did they go by plane? Did they go by train? How did they go? Mm. In the steamship? Yes, yes, steamship. What do we mean by steamship? This is a ship that works on steam. So they would, they want to tell us that it is not a fast, nor comfortable, not comfortable. And it's not fast, so it will take them days, may, maybe even months, I don't know, to get there. It won't be easy. It's not going to be an easy trip. Voyage means a trip. Plus, it is crowded. There are many people on that steamship. Okay, Asma? Okay. Okay. It now, was crowded, they said. Yes, it is crowded. Yalla Zakaria. Thank you, Yasma. Yes, ma'am. Yalla, read this, this paragraph, the trip. The trip across the Atlantic Ocean was rough. The, was rough. the air inside the steam cock. The, the ship goes the ship tossed Wait. up and down yeah, for the days. The ship smelled like a dirty sock. I didn't hear I, this line. Okay, continue. I said it. Okay, uh, okay, sorry. Yalla. No, the, the, the ship tossed up and down for for days. Mm -hmm. The waves were as big um, as mountains. Many passengers, passengers became seasick, mm -hmm. but Nora and Danny felt fine. Okay, but every day. Wait, Zakaria, how was the trip? How was it? Was it um, a smooth or rough? Rough. What do they mean by rough? Like the ship is not good. It was a hard. Rough means hard. It was not an easy trip. It was hard. Okay. Hard trip. Yeah, and 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 what about the smell? Smell. Mm -hmm. Smelled like something. Uh, Something smelled bad. Yes, like what? What did they describe it? It looks like what? Well, dirty stuff. Okay, Miss, everyone pay attention. Do you see this uh, sentence? The air yes. inside the steamship smelled like yes. dirty sock. When you have the word like, it means this one it means you have something called simile. Simile. Say it again. Say it with me, man. Say simile. 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 Yes. What do we mean by simile? A simile compares two things. I have one thing. This is thing number one, and then I compare it. I say I use the word like, and then I compare it to something. What are the two things being compared here, Muhammad? Uh, Zakaria, Zakaria, what are they comparing? They compare? Where? In the sentence, they compare. In the story? Yeah, yeah. The like. They compare. The like air. a dirty sock. Bravo, they compare the air. air. Like the dirty sock. It means. Dirty sock. It means. Is it, do they the mean, air was like smelled like a dirty sock. 
Excellent. Do, do they mean that the smell was nice or was disgusting? Was disgusting. So here I can say that uh, the air is compared to dirty sock. It means it, it smelled bad. Okay. Now here, okay. there's another simile. They say the ship tossed up and down for days. The waves were as big as when you have as as mountain this is another as big as there's another as yes here it's the same sentence the waves were as big as mountains what are as we comparing what are we comparing we are comparing what as. we are comparing the The waves to what? To mountain. To mountain. What do we mean? The waves were small or were big? Big. Exactly. I'm comparing the waves to mountains. Okay. 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 Thank you, Sakurida. Yalla, Ali, I'm can you unmute Alush? Yes, Miss. Okay, Ali. Ali, uh, so how's the weather, Ali? It looks like it's hot. Yes. Mm. And you're enjoying your, your time, huh? Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah, let's start reading every day. Every day, Nora, they dreamed and read, read the letters she thought of the buildings and street cars he wrote about in her dream. She could picture the on a crowded street. He had a big smile on his face. Bravo. Ali, um, can you tell me what is what is uh, the parents' dream? The parents' dream is what? Is to, to travel to where? Travel to America. Travel. What is Nora's dream? Nora's dream is what is to see her dad. To see her dad. To see her dad. What they said in her dreams, she could picture Da on a crowded street. He had a big smile on his face. So Nora's dream is to see her dad. What smiling? Smiling on his face. With a big smile on his face, it means he wants, she likes to see, or her, she dreams on seeing her dad smiling, okay? Ali, can you tell me, can you answer question? Okay. Can you find a simile? Uh, like? All the sentence, you have to use all the sentence. You have to say, for example, the air inside the steamship smelled like a dirty sock. This is one, this is one simile. Another simile is the waves were big as mountains. Like is a simile. Yes, like and as. 
Okay, so you say, for example, the air inside the steamship smelled like a dirty sock. You have to write all the sentence. It smells bad. What does it mean? It means it smells bad inside the ship. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, now we're going to continue with um, Celine. Yes, Celine, sorry, it was your turn, but then Tia reminded me about what I said last time. I'm just waiting because I can see some of you are trying to copy the answers. Miss, if you could not uh, finish, if you could not write the answers now, you can you can get this lecture with all the answers on it. Okay, yalla Celine, let me unmute you, Celine Aisa. Khuda Farhas, please pay attention. Yalla, yalla Celine, one morning. One morning, morning, Nora awake, awoke. Mm -hmm. A moment later, she realized, realized something. Realized something was different. Mm. The 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 ocean was as a smooth the ocean as what as, as smooth as glass yes uh, so here uh, celine they are telling us that the waves are not as big as mountains anymore now the ocean is too smooth do i have a simile smooth as a glass yes the ocean you have to say the ocean they are compared. The ocean was as smooth as glass. Bravo. The ocean is smooth as glass. It means the ocean is calm. It is calm. Okay. And you can see through the water. It means the water or, or there are no waves. There is no storm anymore. Okay. Yes. okay. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Celine. Let me give a chance now to Dana. Hello, Dana. Dana Dudu. Dana is writing. Okay. Uh, Hashem, yalla Hashem. Dana left him. Hashem. Uh, uh, uh. Dana, you are back. Uh, please unmute and you will do it. You will read after Hashem, okay? Yalla Hashem. A few. Okay. A few hours later, Nora, Danny, and Mama shivered together on the ship's deck. Snowflakes drifted through the air. Another traveler noticed and gave them a blanket. It was as thin as a rag, but nothing could have been more valuable to them. Bravo, excellent. So, uh, so Hashem, how, how is the weather on the ship where they have arrived, in the place they have arrived? How was the weather? And the weather was good. Cold. Oh, the weather was snowy. Yes, they shivered. They shivered. At that time, what did they need? They need a blanket. Blanket. And someone gave them a blanket. And the blanket, it was so thin. Yes. But this, blank, this blanket was what? The most valuable thing on the ship was valuable because they needed him badly. They needed it badly. Do you have a simile in this sentence, in this paragraph? Um, yes, it, uh, it is uh, as thin as a rag. It means the blanket was as thin as a rag. What does it mean that the blanket is what? Uh, is uh, not soft. Um, it's not. It's not like it's not soft. It means it cannot um, <clears throat> cannot warm them. It's yes. Thin, it cannot warm them, but it was good in that in that time. Okay. Thank you, Bella Dana. Suddenly. Yes. Suddenly, some someone shouted. There is there is Lady Liberty. As the ship 
past the large statue, the the crowd 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 shrieked cheered cheered. Someone shouted at last, "We've arrived! We are in America! America!" Soon everyone was singing and dancing. Excellent. So as I told you before, when we watched the video, when people used to travel to America, the first thing they would see is the Statue of Liberty because they used to travel by the yes. sea. And the Statue of Liberty is there. And, uh, and the Statue of Liberty, what did we say? That it is a symbol of what? symbol of sign <laughs> no the statue of liberty is a symbol or sign of hope remember it's a symbol of hope and a new opportunity yes. and the freedom if you still remember it was symbol of freedom okay that, yes. that we have this question what did it mean for the travelers to be able to see lady liberty it means that they have reached it means that they are they have reached to their dreamland bravo it means that they have arrived to america yes yalla huda farhat thank you dan you're welcome yes yalla huda atari atari took the travelers to elsa Ellis Island. Ellis Island. In the main hall, doctor inspected the families. They looked for signs of of a license. Illness. Mama had Illness means sickness. Mama had to answer many questions. Nora no that people don't get an opportunity or another chance to take these tests twice. Nora looked at Danny, then at Mama. They had to pass. After a few hours... Only one paragraph for that. So, uh, so here they, uh, have, they, they arrived there and they, they started to give them tests, medical tests, to see if they are sick or ill so they can give them the uh, appropriate treatment okay anyone who travels yeah. please should do the same yes thank you after a few hours yes you are ask that question quickly Huda. so So I should read this whole. Uh... Oh, she wanted to ask a question, but then she muted herself. Yeah, let us go. After a few, I will get back to you, Huda. So after a few hours, the family learned they could stay in America. As they filled off a fa the ferry, Nora saw Uncle Seen's dark hair. Uncle then she saw that. His hands waved wildly. He had a big smile on his face. Dreams do come true, Nora thought as she waved back. Excellent. So at the end, uh, Nora saw her father and he was smiling just as she dreamed. Okay. Now this question number five. I have to answer the question. This is homework. Did, did you answer it? Yeah, I did. I answered it. Like I solved it. A teacher, I didn't immigrate, but my daddy. Yes, sir. What is the answer to this question? Have you, have you, or anyone in your family immigrated to a new place? Why? Because we had to immigrate to Lebanon back because they wouldn't let us stay back in Croatia. We had it to go. 
Okay, so for some reason you, you had to immigrate to Lebanon. Okay. Yeah. So, um, no, no. Okay, good one. So I know that Ali Abu Khalil can write about it, also Yasma and Muhammad Zalhoud. So you can write, for example, to have better opportunities or better life. This next time we will continue. You can you can solve mega pack page 25, mega pack page 31. Okay. And page 29 and 30, we will continue this next time. But now I'm going to uh, give you the activity. Okay, ready? Okay. Five minutes. Wait, which activity? Yellow, one second. We are doing this activity. Oh, this one. It's fun. Yeah. Should I mute myself? That's okay. So tomorrow I will allow you to unmute yourselves. So tomorrow we're going to have the quiz. Okay, you have to study the lesson about um, Anansi. Okay, the lesson is about Anansi. Miss? Yeah? What is this activity you want to this uh, link you want to send it in the chat yes yeah, let's yes she chat. send it click on the chat and start. this is about vocabulary okay okay oh. miss uh, uh, click it yeah yeah go ahead start yes okay okay you have is there a timing and teacher, what do we need to do? You have to solve it. Oh, what well, What do we need to do? How? How? I, I, oh. just, I don't know why. Start. How do we do it? What? Miss. Oh, Miss. Yeah. How I can do it? It will not, it will not open. But it's not opening. Oh, yes, I know it. I have a word with this. Yes. Yes, yes. Miss, you have to let's say, speak softly, and you have to choose the meaning from the words. Which word do you speak softly? What? I don't. Um, got arrived. Yes! Teacher, teacher, I know it. Yes, I have five students who already submitted. I know. Chance. It's so easy. Oh, oh. Oh. Yes. We have 12 students who are done. Mashed. I also finished. You can't. But teacher, I have no idea how to, how to do yes. it. Yeah, uh, how should we yes, do? I do it all. Hashim, you just have to click on it. I make it. Yes, I make the. I make the. It. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm done. So answer. And I got all of them correct. Can you tell me if anybody has oh, a question? Oh, oh, I can you tell me if anybody has a question? Oh, that's unfinished. Finish. Yes, I did it all. Miss yeah, Mariam, all. can you mute us all? And if somebody has a question, raise their computer hand. No, it's the last one. Malak, no. sure. Just then, one minute, and uh, Zoom will be over. Should we do it again? I make it. I finish it. I will check you. Should we just do it?
This is not working. It's not working. Maybe I have a question. Let's mute everybody. Yes, I have a question. 